Hey, it's Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Yes, we're back to Stuff in the Morning. Question for you, a big question for you today. How would you like to get $100,000 for $399? Just a thought, just a thought. Got something to share with you and we'll jump into that later. Why don't a lot of resellers make good bank? That good coin. What's the problem with that? I've been thinking about it and I've been thinking about it and I got this query that came into the Facebook. Well, it was a Facebook message on my fan page and I put it in the group because I didn't know how to answer it. Uh, apparently, this woman was going through hell and she had a problem with goodwill. I didn't know how to deal with it because I've never bought or thrifted from Goodwill. I've never been a picker or a thrifter type person. I didn't even go to the flea market. So I just like booted it to the group and they showed up and it's like this, 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 this for folks who are doing it. But it got me to thinking. It got me to pondering why are so many resellers slash business people slash hustlers are not making the bank nor the coin that they want. Hmm, something to think about. I think the problem is a lack of esteem. Yes, low self-esteem, that's what I'm saying, low self-esteem, and this is why. When I put it, matter of fact, I might actually have it. Yeah, I can do that, it's kind of cool. Okay, so this book right here, let's just put it on back, put it on back. All right, I discussed this concept in this book, and you see this book right here? I discussed it in this book. The reason that a lot of resellers don't make a lot of bank is refusal to move up the average price of cost and goods sold because that means you would have to spend more money since you're in a resale environment. Now, what do I mean by that? You got to sell shit for more money just to break it down, just to make it really, really plain. So people are like, I don't know what he's talking about. What is this he's talking about? I'm going to break it down for you so it's forever broken and you will get this. Trust me and you will love me a long time. Number one, you have got to get over small items. I know, once again, discussed it in these books, concept years ago. Let me tell you what happened to me. When they got into the storage auction game, I was buying stuff I could move with my car. Realized shortly, like the first load, that was going to be a bitch. I mean, a really big bitch. Because... You were limited by infrastructure, and this is something I talk about in my course, 30 Days to 2500. Talked about it in the books over there, talking about it to you. If you do not enhance, build up your infrastructure, you are going to, that's it. You're just going to, you're going to keep hitting that ceiling. And I know, I know it's like, Glendon, I don't have no money. Look, I'm trying to help. No, no. You don't think that your business is that important. You don't. You just don't. Now, these are the steps for you to up your price. Once again, I'll use myself. After go figuring out that that shit was going to be really hard, I rented a U-Haul, which was expensive. But you have capacity in advance of profit, which means you're going to have to spend the money to get the capacity before the profit comes back to you. Without the capacity, you can't get the profit. So that's what I did. And I rented trucks with the expectation of buying a truck, which I never did. Actually got a really good deal leasing newer trucks. And at one point had not one truck, but two. Now this was cost, but let me break it down for you. I bought this unit and this is a good, this is really, really good. I bought this unit, right? And Actually, let me go back further before I became educated in the storage auction flip game. I saw this dude with a ponytail. We were up in Marietta. 
I remember it was on South Cobb Parkway. He bought this unit. Door goes up. It looks shitty as hell, right? Big unit. Big boy unit. All of this stuff in there. Door goes up. Shit's falling all over the place. I back up because it is beyond my infrastructure and it is beyond my capacity. So I back up and I watch Ponytail and some other people go at it and the unit goes for $650. At that point, I'm just like, they done lost their damn minds. Well, I found out later that Ponytail had this unit and it was a 10 by 20, full from the Ruta to the Tuda, and he made out like a bandit. And let me go back and deconstruct what I missed because I was, I had a lack of knowledge. Knowledge! I had a lack of knowledge. And there was three bedroom sets in there. You saw the headboard, you saw the racks, you saw all this other stuff, right? Trusted drawers, three mattress sets. He saw one bedroom set, he balanced out, and he was into the, the, the black zone. You know, the, the black zone, that beautiful place, the black zone, right? Called Profit, after selling one bedroom set. So he had 90% or 95% of the unit left to sell. He was already in Profit. This is one of the reasons that I started to buy bigger units because sometimes I lost my ass, but 80% of the time I won. So there was an 80% win rate because I increased my capacity. So if you are just doing small stuff and you're doing all of the sourcing, you're doing all the shipping, you're doing all of the listing, you're doing all, you're doing it all. You're costing yourself money because you will never ever increase your capacity, your infrastructure. Your infrastructure is like your transmission. Let's just say you're super smart. You picked up the game quick. You got money in your pocket. You got all that, right? But you are a scared little bitch to go to that next level. You got the money, talent, but you never ever push forward. And you see people like me who didn't know much pass your ass. And then that's when the, the hate darts start and the hate grams and all of the, he don't know what he's doing. That motherfucker's crazy. All that stuff starts. And you see this because the thing is, it's all about pushing up. Now, once I became educated in the resale game, I would buy a unit, sell one or two things, make the money back that I spent and had all this other stuff to, for profit. And that's happened. I developed these buying profiles, once again, in these books. Now, if you are trying to grow your business, because the reason I jumped into that is the same thing happens in any business. If you do not increase your capacity, which may be hiring employees, other day on the live stream, someone asked me about their cleaning company. I think it was Benning, Richard Benning, something like that. And I said, hey, you just got two accounts, hire an employee now. And many people are like, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Number one, you're not used to the money yet. Number two, you will take on the position of a manager. The company may not pay you for a year or two, but if you go ahead and reinvest the money back in the company, get it to a certain size, so when you get ready to say, see you to your job, there's money for you because you've built the asset because you've built the capacity and you've built the infrastructure. So if you wanna make more money, cause you know, uh, people have made jokes about some of the stuff I do. I have stuff like the books for the low low, right? And then at one point I had a $50,000 package. Did a lot of people buy the $50,000 package? No, I sold two. And just to be elitist and totally contemptuous and just, just to be Elitis, elitist, elitist, just to be an ass, just get down to it. I sold two in a year. So there are some of you who are working 60, 70, 80 hours a week to make 30 to 50 grand reselling when you look at the net profit. Yeah, I didn't have to sell a lot when uh, I do my courses, uh, when I do the platforms. 
That's the reason that I keep pushing the price because I know that if I want to make more money, it is better to push the price to increase the quality, to increase my service than to keep trying to scale on this small shit. Because I can tell you from someone that had a warehouse where 4,000 square feet was dedicated to small stuff, it has a point of a ceiling because once we got to about four to six thousand dollars a month, which was great, paid the rent of the warehouse, paid a lot of stuff. It kind of just petered out and it became a bear because this is this is what would happen. Saturdays were wild. We would get there early, put all this stuff in. Then those folks would come in. Bam, go straight to it. I it got to the point that I knew based upon the look upon their face what they were coming for, more than likely what they were going to buy, because I would sit at my desk and I would watch people and I would watch where they would beeline. And that little observation is the reason that we put the dollar section all the way in the back and a lot of nice stuff that they had to pass to get to the dollar section so they could see it and they could sniff it. Right. And that was a good tactic. It worked very well. But the whole point is, if you want to make more money, you're going to have to increase your capacity. You're going to have to increase the average price that you sell stuff. When we were doing eBay, we had the same problems when we were selling 10 to $25 items as we did when we were selling 300 to $2,000 items. We had the same problems. It gets harder because you have to have the reputation because I had a separate furniture account that had nothing but furniture feedback. So like you go right now, go to eBay right now and check out the people who are selling high end watches like Rolexes and stuff. They you'll see that they, you know, they may have a thousand or two thousand feedback, but it's all high end watches. That's what you have to do. Now, for those of you who are still here and you want to increase your capacity. Yeah, I'm selling you something because this is what this channel is designed for. I mean, that's what I didn't do. It's like this channel is designed to sell stuff. And if you are a reseller and this is a tip for you, it's just a tip. And if you get mad, if someone is selling something because they have information that you want that can help you, you are putting a mental ceiling on your success. And this is why, because you have a problem with people making money. I buy stuff. I just went through this $1,500 course. I pulled out six ideals and I think it was well worth it. But and this is something else too for you course creators and you ebook people. I'm amazed at how many people want to sell a hundred dollar course, but has never bought a hundred dollar course or people want to sell a $500 course, but has never bought a $500 course or someone that wants to sell a 1500 or $2,000 course and has never bought one. Uh, I'm in a group and there was someone that was trying to get trained up and I said, well, why don't you just buy the $50,000 course and reverse engineer it? Sounds simple to me, you know, if you're making all that money. But if you want to be in the game, you must participate on both sides. I have a membership to Audible every month, 22 bucks. I, I get two books. I listen to them. I scour. I'm in a group that's like 100 bucks a month. And I just had this $1,500 deal. Wonderful course. And for those who take electric kung fu, you're going to get some of that. You're going to get some. You're going to love that. And that's the deal. Okay, so let's get to the pitch. Let's get to the deal. If you are here right now, and today is December 23rd, for those who will see this later, because I'm going to leave it up, I'm going to do this for you. You can get hustlerkungfu.com, $399, and, 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 if you want electric kung fu, I will only charge you $150 for founder. If you want both of those and, 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 and you know what I'm going to do for anyone that gets hustlers, Kung Fu.com before Friday. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. Let, let's just say the weekend. Let's the holiday weekend. You get hustlers, Kung Fu.com for three ninety nine. I will also send you an invoice for electric Kung Fu for one fifty, and I will sit on the phone and talk to you for not one hour, but two. But that's, you got to get that before Monday. So anyone that does that and that wants that deal, you send, this is how it goes. You, I'll have the links below. They're, they're always below. 
you get the Hustler Kung Fu deal, then I or my, well, me, Amy's off. Me, I will invoice you $150 for Electric Kung Fu, and I will put you on the schedule for not a one, but two hour consultation. I think that's a good deal. Just me. But if you don't get everything, you know, if you just like buy Hustler Kung Fu, no, you don't get the two hours. You have to get Hustler Kung Fu, just to be specific, to be clear and distinct, and Electric Kung Fu to get the time with me. Yeah. Oh, on the uh, how to get $100,000 for $399, 30 days to $2,500, which is a course for business owners, not necessarily for folks who've never started a business. Increase the revenues of not one company, not two companies, not three companies, not four companies, not five companies, to six figures. And they didn't pay $399 because one of the people that did it did it when it was free because I, I built it out where webinars every day. And like a gentleman, like a boss, dude sent me $2,500. So Calvin, appreciate you. And now that's a class act. He was like, hey, dude, I made so much money from this course. Hey, here's here's boom. I have people who do that. Uh, when I was doing something early in the year, someone did a five hundred dollar donation when I had up the. Uh, the uh, what is the funding thing uh, when you just like support this channel, YouTube funding. So, you know, people give back, give back. You know, it's the holiday season. So that's the deal. Hopefully you learned something. And once again, all deals are below and you have until this weekend to make that happen from the top and i say it again because people are like whoa, whoa what did he say hustlerkungfu.com invoice then you go on the calendar that is the procedure okay so with that i will see you guys in the next session i feel pretty good it's a rainy day in georgia went to the gym you know what i'm gonna share some else which is, it has nothing to do with uh reselling their business I was doing some research and this is going to be in the glendon cameron personal development course it's going to be there if you've never heard of intermittent fasting it's some wild shit i mean this is my first week and it's been a little rocky been a little rocky but i had was 12 hours into the fast went to the gym this morning and I got to 475 on the squat. It's been a while that I've got, I just had all these issues. I got sick, all this other stuff. I haven't, I've, I've just been like, my workout's been discombobulated. And I was just amazed. I'll give you the sequence. Opened with 245 for 10 reps, then went to 335 for 10 reps, then went to four, no, yeah, 425 for reps 455 and then 475 then I was done and I did calves and the thing is it's 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 exploding my mind because I'm operating at a higher level that goes contrary to popular workout dogma the, the little six smallest meals a day that shit was making me fat I stopped that because that's one of the reasons I started looking into it like I said, it's just been the first week. Well, not even the first week. We're in, this might be day four. But I had also a seriously strong upper body workout where I was repping out in the 300s, which I haven't been doing. Because, you know, like I said, I've been playing with all this stuff. But the upper body day was, yeah, 24-hour fast. Because what I'm doing is 124-hour and then the 16 hour fast with an eight hour eating window. That way I can eat at the beginning of the window and eat at the end. And I am well within that and I get that at time. But just I share that with you just to say that doing something different, doing something that many people are like, well, no, I've had people like, hey, you know, you don't do that. You know, this is what they say. But I'm in the gym repping out at 455. I could have did more. I could have did more. 
but I have a certain program that I'm working on because one of the things is about working out and this is also very good with business is consistency. The way you get strong, the way you keep progressing is not to miss workouts. If you take those little bitty tiny little weights, right? And you, you know, like the 1.5s, you may have to buy them because most gyms don't have the 1.5s uh, or the one pounders and they're called fractional weights. Every week you can go up and I know two pounds a week doesn't sound like much. But if you don't miss workouts and you do that for a year, you've put 50, you put 100 pounds on lift in a year, safely and sanely. So just a, just a thought with you. All right. So I will see you guys in the next video.